just like old times. Ah! Only better, right? Better. I remember you had a very specific vision for the first Best Man film. So what is your vision for this series and how has it been impacted by the first two movies? It's a continuation of, you know, these characters that people were introduced to back in 1999 who were in their postgraduate, mid-20s, figuring out life and career and marriage and friendship. I think this is just gonna be more of the same and people will get what they've come to expect from the two Best Man movies complications of life and friendship and relationships and marriage and raising kids now and you know trying to wrangle your parents there's a lot going on and i think that you know particularly since we've had this pandemic there's been a lot of you know reassessing and reevaluation having watched the first three episodes i will say there's some growth that's been really interesting especially with a character like candace the first time we met her, we knew there was more to her, but now we're seeing her really lean into her interests and take charge of that. Can you talk a little bit about what made you excited about her journey in the show? You know, I think it's the first time we've explored her as a mother and her own individual interests. You know, we've seen her obviously pursuits in the first one, what she wanted, and the second one was kind of like maybe her defending herself and trying to feel like you know, with the video that was circulating that she didn't know about and, you know, Shelby and kind of maybe that sense of not quite belonging. But I think in this one, she's discovering what means a lot to her emotionally, what her purpose is. And for Morris. Mm. Morris. Yeah, let's talk about <laughs> Morris. I'm going to ask you. I'm What's your question? What's you. your question, Yoli? What's Where your question? Where do we find Morris in this one? <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, uh, what's up, Lance? I would hug you, but... Uh, not with that on the loose. Oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Where do we find Morris in this one? Well, Tell we, us we more. find more. This this one opens We're up with Lance. Morris just trying to. Uh, he's grieving. Yeah, Lance is grieving. Yeah, yeah, Lance, Lance, Does Lance, he seem sad? Lance is grieving. Does he seem sad? Who? Who? Does her? Lance seem sad? Lance. <laughs> Lance. <laughs> Lance. Handsome but sad, Lance. Yeah, yeah Lance is grieving. He's grieving when he he's opens. Just comes up. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Career-wise, Jordan is forging ahead. She's a boss, the boss. But I think she's realizing the importance of life in balance and wanting more than power and success, wanting to feel a sense of her own self in all of the success mm -hmm. and taking a moment to pause and breathe and enjoy life. Mm -hmm. Hollywood has come a calling. They want to make unfinished business into a movie. For Harper, he has made certain decisions that I don't think he thought he would make. You know, he's decided to, you know, go with a more a commercial perspective with, you know, his writing and he's got a little bit of money, but now he's questioning himself. Mm -hmm. So he's evolved enough to have sat in his choices and that has inspired him to think beyond that. And now he's, uh, he's questioning himself and, and challenging himself to be more. Q is known for being a player, and then huh. all of a sudden announces that he's getting married. Do you huh. think? No, a player is known for, for being Q. <laughs> sometimes you get married for the right reasons. You know, sometimes the universe pulls you together and says you can't be with anyone else. Or sometimes we take the road of Jonah and be like, you know what? I know I'm supposed to go over to, to Nineveh and say these bad things, but I'm going to hop on this ship and go to Tarshish. I'm just going to go over there and you get swallowed by a whale and you got to sit in the belly of a fish for three days before the fish vomits you up on the shores of Nineveh and you go do what you were supposed to be doing, what God had set for you to do. And we do that a lot just so we all have something to do in this in between. But at the end of the day, we're going to work out universal purpose and love at the end of the day is the thing that really matters. And it's always going to win in the end. Loved ones snaps for that and melissa what i really like about shelby is that she is fiery she is not afraid to say what's on her mind but i also feel like there's more to her do you think we'll get finally. to explore that in um this series yes finally there's more i know what it's like to be a tired overworked exhausted mom wait don't you have like three nannies it takes a village. You described it perfectly. You described her perfectly of what she has been. But now it is time to see 
the whole picture of Shelby. She's taking down the walls. She is exposing herself in order to receive everything that she wants in life. And she is going to live it now as opposed to dictate it.